it's one of my favorites. I've been cooking it for a long time and I make it with pork chops. I make it with Cornish hens. I make it with duck. I make it with the, everything. So a person could make this with a, with a chicken if they wanted. It, it, do it with anything. And you could get pheasants online for but, sure. This, this was gotten from a, from a purveyor that uh, I use online right? all the time. And all I usually do is I'll just clip off the little tip, pieces right? of wing tips there yep. and use them for stock. I use a scissor and you can actually open up this little area yep. here where the leg comes in contact with that backbone, right? You right. can see the little bone right there. And so it's, can, it's a map. You can right. cut that, it, it literally is a map. And you can literally cut through here and remove your dark quarters on both sides and then cut your breast off. It's very, very easy. And right. then simply move them into the frying pan. I like to turn this up a little bit and get my shallots into the pan. And yes, it's a lot of shallots because the shallots and the currants become I the backbone currants. flavor. Me too. Become I the. Love them. And by the way, if you only have raisins or apricots or dried plums, by all means, Little go bit ahead of dried fruit right and there. use them. That's all you need. Those stay down there. And once these get a little glassy, I return nice. my dark meat to the pan. And the reason is sort of obvious. Dark meat takes a little takes while longer to a cook bit longer. than light meat. I don't want to overcook that. So once my onions have turned glassy, I add four different apple products. Well, really five if you include apples themselves. I was gonna say in the actual apples. <laughs> apple, a little apple brandy, a little apple vinegar. By the way, if that happens, that's just the alcohol burning off. It's no big don't deal. worry about it. The last, don't get violent with it. It's in the pan, just let it happen, right? A little apple cider. And then once that has cooked a little while, three, four, five minutes go on, I add a little bit of stock. Now, with a pan like this, and the breast that I'm going to add back in later on, I'm sometimes a little more judicious with the yeah. stock. If it's really, if it's a big pan like this, okay. and I know it's gonna cook off quickly, mm. I'll add more stock. I just don't wanna lose the sauce. The sauce is so delicious. And more importantly, I need it to finish cooking right, right, the right. birds. The first thing that we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our sauce is sort of happening, gotcha. right? We wanna make sure it's already got the apples in it, which by the way, we, I don't wanna turn my apples to mush, so I add those at a little later time as this is simmering as the, along. As it cooks down, okay. But this looks like it's pretty ready. I can sort of see by the size of the bubbles, if you're ever working with sugar or cream or anything that thickens, mm -hmm. when the bubbles go from very small to bigger, they're holding more air, which means the liquid is thicker. So at that point, it's really simple to add our currants in. You want like that sweet tart vibe going on. So we know we're gonna need salt, but once you add those currants, you're also gonna get a natural sweetness about 60, 90 seconds in. They're gonna soften up, they're gonna give off their sugar. So you wanna make sure oh, that that is- that is so is... delicious. So delicious. Yeah. So while I season this, if you maybe do a mound of sweet potatoes. Sure. Um, and then there's wild rice, because I come from Minnesota, so when when I go out and I do hunt pheasant, uh, this is typically how I like to serve this. And all I'm going to do is arrange these and get your dark quarters out of there. Nestle them on one side. And I like lining them up like this. I typically put a little bit of sauce over these just to just to moisten. But then what I like to do is put some more into the, you know, a little boat or something like that. Because we want to nap this. And, you know, don't go crazy with reducing uh, this. You, how do I say it? If it's too thick and becomes too, cre you're literally making creme brulee. And, and I don't, <laughs> that's great. It's dessert. But I want just a little bit of body there. And you can see you want some of those apple pieces and some oh. of the, that stuff to go More. over there. 